Hello, welcome, I'm so happy you're here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about exactly how to assume that your wish has been fulfilled. So this, of course, is how we manifest. We assume it is done. We assume the wish has been fulfilled. How do you create that assumption within yourself? Exactly how do you create it? That's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. Before I jump in, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel in the corner or below. Also know that I offer lots of self-study manifesting courses. There's 14 courses below. I can help you manifest a specific person, new love, self-love, feminine energy, money. So check out the courses below. Okay, so exactly how do you assume that your wish has been fulfilled? Again, you know, I talk about it in all my videos because this is what manifesting is. We assume that we already have our desire. You create the inner assumption with your imagination that you already have your desire. How exactly do you do this? So I'm going to break it down for you. The first thing you want to do is, and I always, you know, you guys know me by now, like when I'm going into an imaginal act or I'm trying to conjure up an inner experience of having my desire, I close my eyes and I go into my inner space. Some people are going to call this imagination. I call it typically the inner world. But what you're doing is you're going to start to use both your mind, thoughts, and feelings to land on what it would feel like if you were the person who already had your desire. So we'll do two examples. We'll do uh, money and relationship just so you can get a feel for both. So if I were manifesting money, I'd close my eyes, I'd go within, just means you bring your awareness within, and I'd start to conjure up the feeling of, if we're going to do money first, well, what would it feel like if I was a person who had $10,000 in my bank account right now, okay? So if that's the amount of money you're manifesting, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. You can even just stay very general. It's fine, but you conjure it up. Okay, so you imagine having $10,000 in your bank account right now. What do I feel like knowing that I have $10,000 in my bank account right now? It might feel like, ooh, okay, that's great. That feels really expansive. That feels really abundant. There's a version of you that already has this desire. And when you are that version of you in your imagination, you feel a particular way. Especially if you're someone who maybe doesn't have a lot of money in your bank account right now, if you transition to the imaginal space of having a lot of money in your bank account, it's going to open you up. It's going to feel expansive. It's going to feel exciting. Now, what you want to do is you catch that feeling. For me, it's almost like I'm lasering in on that bullseye of the end result. So there's a very particular feeling tone. It, it is associated with thoughts, but it's a very particular feeling tone of having my desire. And it's almost like you catch the feeling. Okay, great. Having 10 grand in my bank account feels a particular way. I feel expansive. I feel open. I feel excited. By catching that feeling, you have landed in the assumption of the wish fulfilled. You have landed in living in the end. That's like the very particular frequency almost of having your desire. So once you land in it, you want to return to that feeling, that inner experience as much as possible. Because returning to it is going to evoke the feeling of the wish fulfilled and it's going to become a more dominant state within you. Okay, so let's do it with relationship. Doesn't matter if it's a specific person or a new person. What you do is you close your eyes and you go within. Okay, what would it feel like if my person, my soulmate, the person I love more, in the, more most in the world and they love me most in the world was loving me. I knew I was loved. I knew I was chosen. What would that feel like? Okay, you start to conjure up the inner experience of, okay, I feel chosen. I feel wanted. 
I feel happy. I feel expansive. Whatever words, I mean, you don't have to say the words. I'm just doing it because I'm, I'm sharing with you in this video, but there's feeling tones to being someone who is chosen, adored, devoted to in a relationship. It feels a particular way. It feels very different than being single and feeling unwanted. If you feel wanted and chosen and absolutely adored, it feels a particular way within. Now, are you using your mind to imagine your person? You can be, if that helps. So maybe you're thinking of a specific person and they're saying something to you. I love you. I want to be with you. There's no one else like you. Maybe that helps evoke the inner experience. The inner experience doesn't have to be incredibly strong or potent, but it should be making you feel like a new person, like a person who has your desire, like a person who's in the relationship, like a person who has the money in your bank. And this is how you assume that your wish has been fulfilled, or this is how you assume that it is done. You catch the inner feeling of being that person who's in the relationship, who has the money. It feels a particular way. You start to feel a particular way. And then your job is to return to that inner state as much as possible, to practice that inner state as much as possible. Go back into it. Okay, wait a minute. What does it feel like to be someone who's in the relationship? I feel chosen. I feel adored. I feel loved. I feel beautiful. I feel wanted. They want me. Okay, they want me. What does that feel like? Again, you don't have to get um, really analytical about it. Like, it's it can be very general. It can be a general feeling of just content. I'm wanted. I'm... Um, good enough. You know, it can be general feelings, but what you're doing is you're training yourself out of feeling like you're not wanted, you're not chosen, lonely, not with someone, and you're training yourself into, no, I am wanted. I am cherished. I am adored. And by practicing this process of catching the feeling of the wish fulfilled, you're shifting you you're shifting who you are, who you associate yourself to be, how you feel as a person, how you feel as a partner. You are changing. And when you start to feel more and more comfortable being someone who is loved, who is wanted, or who is wealthy, or, or who is healthy, or who is anything you want, when that becomes a very natural experience for you internally, you will naturally manifest it out there, okay? This is the basis of manifesting. This is exactly how you do it. It's once you really get the hang of this, it can become, I mean, it's very easy and it can be really fun. It's all about just using your inner world to conjure up that inner experience of having your desire. Everything is available to you. There is nothing that is off limits. This is easy to do. It is. It just takes focus and conjuring up that inner experience. And when you become a master of that, you can have anything you want. Thank you guys for being here with me in this video. I love being here with you. Please make sure you like the video, you comment below, and I'll see you soon. Bye.